Hello mga kawamat. In this video lesson, we will discuss illustrating the system of nonlinear equations. So, before we proceed dun sa nonlinear equation, so review muna natin kung ano ba yung linear equation. So, ito yung mga halimbawa ng linear equation. x plus y is equal to 10. 4x plus 2y equals 26. y is equal to negative x plus 2 x minus 3y is equal to negative 10. So, paano ba natin malalaman na ito ay halimbawa ng linear equation kapag in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0? So, kapag nasa ganitong format yung equation natin, so yan ay linear equation. And then, isa pa, kailangan na sa first degree sila. Ibig sabihin ng first degree, yung pinakamataas na exponent sa equation na ito ay 1. So, ano naman yung non-linear equation? Ito yung mga halimbawa ng non-linear equation. x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 4y is equal to negative 7. x squared plus y is equal to 2. x squared minus 3y is equal to negative 10 x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 2y is equal to 6. And x squared plus 4y squared minus 6x minus 8y is equal to 51. So, ito ay halimbawa ng nonlinear equation. So, paano natin malalaman na nonlinear equation kapag yung equation natin ay wala sa first degree? So, ibig sabihin hindi siya ganito. No? Na, yun ang pinakamataas lang na exponent is 1. Yung nonlinear equation, kasama dito yung equation ng conic section natin. Yung equation ng circle, equation ng parabola, equation ng ellipse, and then equation ng hyperbola. So, paano kapag pinagsama natin yung isang linear natin at isang nonlinear equation? Halimbawa, so yung y is equal to negative x plus 2, and x squared plus y is equal to 2. And also, kapag pinagsama natin yung dalawang nonlinear equation natin, so pinagsama natin yung uh, dalawang nonlinear equation, an ano na yung tawag sa ganito? So ang tawag kapag pinagsama yung isang nonlinear at isang linear equation or pinagsama yung dalawang nonlinear equations, tinatawag nating system of nonlinear equations. So, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng system of nonlinear equations? The system of nonlinear equations is a system of two or more equation in two or more variables containing at least one. So, itong tatandaan natin kahit isang nonlinear equation lang. No? Kaya nga, meron tayong halimbawa na merong isang linear at isang nonlinear equation or Dalawang nonlinear kasi nakalagay naman dito containing at least one equation that is not linear. So, pwedeng, pagsama, pwedeng magkasama yung dalawang nonlinear equation natin kasi at least one meron siyang nonlinear equation. A system of nonlinear equation is composed of a first degree and second degree equation. So, the solution of a system when graph can be determined by its number of point of intersection. So, yung number of intersection, yun yung number of solutions. No intersection, ibig sabihin, there is no solution. Intersect at one point, there is one solution. Intersect at two points, there are two solutions. So, possible types of solution for points of intersection of a parabola and a line so, for letter A, makikita natin na yung parabola natin at yung is line natin, hindi sila nag-intersect. So, the line will never intersect the hyperbola. So, no solution. And then, sa pangalawa, nag-intersect yung parabola natin and yung line natin at one point. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang one solution. The line is tangent to the parabola and intersects the parabola at exactly one point. Sa letter C natin, meron tayong two solutions. The line crosses on the inside of the parabola and intersects the parabola at two points. So, meron siyang dalawang uh, point no, na nag-intersect yung parabola natin at yung line. So, meron tayong dalawang solutions. 
sa circle and a line, so sa unang uh, sa unang illustration, yung line and circle natin well, uh, hindi nag-intersect, so the, therefore, no solution. So, the line does not intersect the circle. Pangalawa, so the line is tangent to the circle and intersect the circle at exactly one point. Kaya meron tayong one solution. And sa pangatlo, so the line crosses the circle and intersects it to it at two points. So meron dalawang two points na intersect yung line natin sa circle. So meron tayong dalawang solutions. For ellipse and circle, okay, sa una walang solution. The circle and ellipse do not intersect. One shape is inside the other or the circle and the ellipse are a distance away from the other. Pangalawa, merong one solution. The circle and ellipse are tangent to each other and intersect at exactly one point. Sa pangatlo, meron tayong dalawang solution. The circle and the ellipse intersect at two points. So, dito sila nag-intersect. Pangatlo, the circle and the ellipse intersect at three points. So, ito yun, no? One, two, so pangatlo ito. And sa panglimang picture natin, the circle and the ellipse intersect at four points. So, again, yung number of intersection, yun yung bilang ng solution natin. So, to illustrate or graph the system of nonlinear equation, Okay, we can use Desmos application. So, gamit yung cellphone nyo, ida-download nyo yung Desmos or yung GeoGebra. So, kapag sa cellphone, dinownload yung Desmos, ito yung itsura niya. So, ito yung makikita nyo sa cellphone nyo or sa tablet. And then, kapag gamit yung laptop nyo at uh, uh, naka-open yung internet nyo, isi-search nyo lang sa browser yung desmos.com slash calculator. Okay? So, ito yung makikita nyo. Or, gamit yung desktop. So, ito yung uh, isi-search nyo, ito yung lalabas na interface. So, ito yung, para, ito yung pinaka-cartesian play natin. Dito tayo mag encode or magta-type ng equation. So, kailangan nyo i-download ito kapag cellphone lang yung gamit para mas madali nyo makita yung uh, illustration o yung graph ng given equation natin. So, for example, so, gamit yung Desmos application, uh, we're going to uh, determine the solutions of the system, the given system, based dun sa graph. Okay, so, bukas tayo ng Desmos uh, application natin. Okay, let's try number one. So, una, encode muna natin yung equation. So, kung gamit yung laptop nyo and then nakakunik kayo sa internet, so again, ito lang yung isi-search nyo, desmos.com slash calculator. So, ito yung gagamitin nyo para makita agad natin yung graph. And then, uh, kung sa cellphone naman, pwede nyo ito gamitin, pwede nyo gamitin yung application kahit hindi kayo nakakunik sa internet. Okay, so i-type natin. Okay, yung iba, nahirapan kung paano ilagay yung exponent. So, pwede nyo itong pindutin class. So, yun ang pinaka-keyboard, no? So, x squared, x, tapos ito, para makuha yung squared, ilagay nyo yan. Then, plus y squared is equal to 10. So, yung unang equation natin is a circle. Okay? Then, uh, Type natin yung pangalawa, x minus 3y. So, yung pangalawang equation natin is linear equation. Okay. So, makikita natin class. Ayan na. So, tingnan natin kung saan sila nag-intersect. So, yun yung solution natin. No? So, nandito. Okay. That is. So, para di kayo mahirapan class, lakihan nyo na lang. Okay. Medyo lakihan natin. No? Dito siya nag-intersect sa, uh, sa point na to. So, this is negative 1. And this is, so, kung to ito, ito ay 3. So, negative 1, 3. So, tapat nyo dyan para makita nyo. Okay, negative 1 and 3. Or, i-type nyo dito class, negative 1, 3. Then, 
i-check nyo yung label. Ayan. So, dito sila nag-intersect. So, ibig sabihin, yung number 1 natin ay merong isang solution. Okay. So, kung gusto nyo to i-download itong graph niya, ito lang yung i-click-click nyo. Share graph. And then, may lalabas dito. Okay. So, may, so export. Ayan. So, kung gusto nyo i-download yung graph natin, Sundan lang yung uh, clinic ko kanina, then download. Okay, para makapin nyo na sa, uh, makapin nyo sa Microsoft Word or kung gagawa kayo ng PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so again, so sa number one, meron tayong isang solution. Okay, proceed tayo sa pangalawa. Okay, ito lang yung pindutin nyo or uh, kung gusto nyo pala class since uh, panibago, panibagong uh, graph, mag-open na lang ulit tayo ng panibagong tab. Okay. Then, ganun ulit. Type lang natin, y is equal to negative x plus 2. So, yung unang equation sa number 2 ay linear. And then, x squared. So, x squared plus y is equal to 2. So, parabola yung graph ng pangalawang equation natin. So, saan sila nag-intersect? Dalawa. No? Sa so, dalawang point, nag-intersect sila sa dalawang point. So, dito, so ito ay 1, kasi pag niliitan natin ito, diba? So, ito ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito ay 1, 1, And then, ito ay 0, 2. So, dalawa. So, type natin dito. 0, 2. Then, label. And then, 1, 1. Then, ililabel natin. So, dalawa yung intersection natin. So, ibig sabihin, yung number 2 natin ay may dalawang solution. Okay? Proceed tayo sa number 3. Okay, proceed tayo sa number 3. So, ganun ulit. Para hindi lang mawala yung graph natin class, open, open lang tayo ng new tab. Okay. So, x squared. x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 2y equals 15. So, circle yung unang equation natin. Pangalawa, x squared minus 6x minus 2y is equal to 3. So, parabola. Parabola yung pangalawang equation natin. So, saan sila nag-intersect? So, ilan? Tatlo, no? Tatlo yung intersection natin dito. So, yan ay negative 1 and 2. So, lagay natin. So, negative 1, 2. Then, ililabel natin. And then, dito sa kabila, ito ay 7, 2. So, i-check natin yung label. At sa baba, ito ay, so, 1, 2, 3. So, 3. So, negative 5. So, negative 6. So, this 3, negative 6. So, meron tayong tatlong intersection. Kaya, ibig sabihin, meron tayong tatlong solution. So, ililabel natin. So, ito yung graph. Label natin. So, ito yung graph ng pangatlong equation natin. Proceed tayo sa number 4. Okay. Number 4. Okay. Number 4. So, same now. Open tayo ulit ng tab. So, x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 2y is equal to 6. So, circle ulit yung una. Pangalawa, x squared plus 4y squared 
minus 6x minus 8y is equal to, uh, it should be 51. Okay, 51 ito class. Edit ko lang. So, lagyan ko lang ng 1. So, this is 51. Okay, so ito yung graph niya. So, saan yung mga intersection natin? Ilan yung intersection natin? Dalawa lang ito. So, ito ay 3, 5, and then 3, negative 3. So, 3, 5, and then label, and then 3, negative 3. So, meron lang tayong dalawang intersection. So, ibig sabihin may dalawang solution. So, number 5, proceed tayo sa number 5. So, bilangin natin kung ilan yung solution. No? 2 times x plus 3. So, labas natin yung key. Squared plus so, y minus 2 squared is equal to 18. So, ellipse. So, ellipse yung unang graph natin. 10 times x plus 3 squared minus 3 times y minus 2 squared is equal to 10. Okay, so yung una, ellipse. Yung pangalawa, hyperbola. So, kung makikita natin, merong apat na intersection. Ito, negative 5, then 5.16, and then yung isa, negative 1, 5.16, Yung pangatlo, negative 1, negative 1.16. And then, negative 5, negative 1.16. Okay, so merong apat na intersection. So, ibig sabihin merong apat na solutions yung number 5 natin. So, again, so malaking tulong ito para sa inyo para madali nyo makita yung uh, number of solutions, yung number of intersection ng given yung given ng system of nonlinear equations so makikita natin so kung babalikan natin so ito yung graph ng number 1 natin ito yung point of intersection so yung uh, solution natin is negative 1 3 and then sa number 2 ito yung point of intersection niya so meron tayong dalawa so meron tayong dalawang solution sa number 2 0 2 and uh, 1 1 for number 3, meron tayong tatlong intersections. So, sa given system, meron tayo system of nonlinear equation, meron tatlong intersection. So, yung unang graph natin, that is a circle, at yung pangalawang graph is parabola. So, ano yung tatlong intersection natin? Negative 1, 2, 7, 2, 3, negative 6. So, yan yung tatlong solutions natin. Sa number 4, so sa una, uh, yung unang equation natin is a circle, yung pangalawa, ellipse. So, may dalawang intersection, that is 3, 5, 3, negative 3. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong dalawang solutions. And for number 5, yung unang equation is ellipse, yung pangalawa is parabola, ay hyperbola rather. So, hyperbola ito class. And then, meron tayong apat na intersection. So, meron tayong apat na solutions sa number 5. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.